Reports claim that Samsung is still experimenting with the Galaxy S6 design. We get more credible claims on the Apple standalone stylus, and could it be that Samsung will finally get its smartwatch right? I'm Jaime Rivera, and I guess the CES plague just hit me. I apologize for the monster cold that I have right now. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's begin today with what's official. How many of you wanted uh, Samsung to acquire BlackBerry? I know many of us didn't and others didn't really care, but as it turns out, Samsung's JK Shin just came on record to state that both companies will extend their partnerships. They will focus on building better security features for Knox, but uh, Samsung has no intentions of purchasing or acquiring BlackBerry. Uh, interesting news. Hopefully that does mean that Knox will help us uh, root our Samsung phones a lot easier at some point. Nah. We have more rumors regarding Samsung's Galaxy S6, particularly in the design. This time we hear that the company is experimenting with double-edged designs. We've heard that before, but we get more details from other sources. But even more interesting, we've heard that the company is not really experimenting with metal anymore. Apparently the company wants to give us a glass-on-glass -glass design. And the reason why that makes sense has to do mainly with Sony's Xperia lineup. They've been able to pull off a waterproof phone with glass-on-glass -glass and Probably that's what Samsung is pointing for with the Galaxy S6. Let's see what we get at MWC. Yes, I know, almost everything today has to do about Samsung, but uh, these are actually interesting news, particularly with the recent rumors of the Samsung Orbis, which is the code name for the round smartwatch the company is working on, apparently running Tizen. What makes this smartwatch cool is that apparently the company is going to fix the whole quirks we had with the Gear Live with the way to charge the smartwatch. Apparently Samsung is going to bring us wireless charging. We're not sure if that's going to be Xi wireless charging, we assume it will, and if so, we probably could see a much better Samsung smartwatch this time, particularly in design, and I mean every single type of design, including the charger. Now, let's talk about HTC. We've heard the company is working on its HTC HEMA, which would probably be the HTC One M9, and we hear more rumors on the specifications from a very credible source. We kept hearing Snapdragon 810 processor. We keep hearing the 20 megapixel camera at the back. We don't know if that's going to be duo lenses. We also hear that an ultra pixel camera will come to the front, which is great. Uh, we saw that in the desire right now at CES, and that was amazing. But even more interesting, we we don't hear any more details on the display. Hopefully we are getting a 2K display, even though I know many of us, including myself, don't really care about that as 1080p was already providing enough pixels per inch. We will know more on March 1st. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, let's talk about the Apple iPen or the Apple Stylus. We don't know exactly how Apple is going to name this product, uh, but KGI Securities is famous for all the iPhone 6 leaks and rumors, and they got a lot of those right. This time they're talking about the Apple Stylus. Apparently, it will be a standalone product. They will even charge with the Lightning port. And we've heard in previous patents that this product will work on whiteboards, paper, and just about everything, including iOS products, but it seems that Apple will not build this into the iPad Pro as we are hearing more rumors of the iPad Pro. Apparently they will both launch at the same time, but Apple will not bundle it with the iPad Pro to keep the price down because apparently, as with everything Apple, this will not be cheap or affordable. And it really leads me to the question of the day. What does a stylus need to do for you to want a product with a stylus? Because in my case, yes, added functionality is great, but for me, it's really the fact that things have to be seamless. I have to be able to actually use a tablet as a piece of paper. And a lot of things go into play there. Not every company has uh, worked with matte displays, for example. And I want to feel some sort of friction when I write. Samsung did a good job with the Galaxy Note 3 and the rubber tips. Probably Apple would do the same. We don't know exactly what the company plans, but leave us a comment down below. These are my opinions, which are yours. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.